नेशनल फैमिली वेलफेयर प्रोग्राम नेशनल फैमिली वेलफेयर प्रोग्राम वॉज लॉन्च इन 1952 दैट मेड इंडिया द फर्स्ट कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड टू लॉन्च अ प्रोग्राम फॉर पॉपुलेशन स्टेबिलाईजेशन इन द बिगिनिंग इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टीज इट वॉज ओनली लिमिटेड टू अ फ्यू क्लिनिक्स वेर दोज कपल्स हु वॉन्ट एडवाइज रिगार्डिंग प्लानिंग देर फैमिलीज कोड विजिट एंड गेट काउंसिलिंग एंड फॉर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ एजुकेशनल मटीरियल to the target population the second element was training some personnel for uh, rendering the above two services and the third element of the program in 1950s was to do research in contraceptive technology research in people's behavior and people's acceptance regarding family planning in 1960s it was realized that family planning was at the very center of planned development of the country that is if the country has to develop the population explosion which was occurring at that time was to be controlled and the emphasis shifted from purely clinical approach to extension education approach that is going out of the clinic and educating people in general and motivating the people to accept the small family norm on top of this lipis loop was introduced as a contraceptive in 1965 and this hope led to creation of an entirely separate department of family planning within ministry of health for the next 5 years the money and time was to be spent in building the infrastructure required for strengthening the family planning that is manpower education material facilities for insertion of lipis loop at various levels like phcs sub centers urban family planning centers and the staff for district bureaus and state bureaus of the program later on again the population explosion control remains on the top priority and as the program evolved it for the family planning activities was integrated with the maternal and child health activities which are going on in the phc and sub sectors means instead of having a separate clinic for family planning the family planning services would be delivered at the mch clinic itself why because the women would need to make two different visits so when they come for child consultation or for gynecological and consultation at the same time they can get the counseling advice and family planning services if they want so as the program evolved all india hospital postpartum program was introduced details can be found elsewhere then the famous mtp act was introduced in 1972 in april 1976 the first national population policy was released which promoted forcible sterilization campaign in 1976 and was so much detested that it led to the defeat of the ruling party in 1977 the new government which came in 1977 it changed the population policy and which said that any kind of compulsion for adopting family planning services was ruled out now and forever and the ministry of family planning's name which was much maligned in the forcible sterilization campaign was changed to family welfare instead of family planning then came the rural health scheme in 1977 this was for general health of the public with the involvement of local people like health guides trained guides etc for their own health care so these people the new infrastructure that was developed for improving the health care of the population was to be utilized for family welfare services also primary health care was declared at ama ata declaration to be the instrument for achieving health for all or we can say health care for all by 2080 through primary health care approach primary health care is a strategy that you can get the details elsewhere so the national health policy was uh, made in 1982 declaring primary health care 
as the means for achieving health for all by 2080 in the country. And this was to lead to restructuring healthcare delivery system of India on the lines of primary healthcare approach, that is having the primary centers, secondary tertiary care centers, tertiary centers, etc. that way. And you can see that family planning goals as given below were an important part of the health policy. So by this time it was realized that family planning was an integral part of general health care and cannot be treated as a separate entity. So it was firmly established now that family planning is a part of primary health care. But how? It was realized that reducing birth rates cannot be achieved purely by family planning schemes only. And it was observed that those populations of the world with better healthcare systems, better healthcare indicators and better indicators of education and development, they automatically had lower birth rates. Automatically. So it was probably the conviction among population that most of the offsprings will get the opportunity to develop into healthy adults in a developed community which lead to acceptance of small families. Hence it was realized that improving the health and the status of children, of women and families in general may automatically raise the acceptance for the small family norm. So other programs for improving the health of mothers and children were given due importance. The universal immunization program was started in 1985 for reduction of mortality and morbidity among infants and young children due to vaccine preventable diseases. Oral rehydration therapy started for reducing the high mortality due to diarrhea which was very high at that time. It was the leading cause of mortality in young children. So all these programs were later integrated among single program called CSSM that is Child Survival and Safe Mother Rule in 1992. Later all were merged into Reproductive and Child Health Program which was for addressing the health of women in reproductive age group for mothers, lactating mothers that is for children and adolescents. What is the meaning of integrating into a single program is that all the activities are carried out if whether it is for women or for lactating mothers, for children, for adolescents, for family planning are to be carried out by the same body. So integration will prevent overlapping of efforts and expenditure. The new national population policy came out in 2000 for promotion of family welfare activities and the details can be found in another presentation on national population policy 2000. Currently, the National Family Welfare Program has two components. One is the Reproductive and Child Health or RCH component for the health of children, adolescent, women, pregnant women and lactating mothers. And second component for family planning which focuses on population stabilization and consists of contraceptives, services for safe abortion, other schemes is legislation for promoting small family norm, information, education, communication, material etc. The health system in India has three broad levels, the central or national level, state level and district level. So the below the district level we have community health centers below which primary health centers, sub centers, the village level and people. The administrators at national level are the minister of Health and Family Welfare, the Minister of State for Health and Family Welfare, under whom functions the Secretary, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. At the state level, similarly, we have a State Minister of Healthy Health and Family Welfare in the Department of Health and Family Welfare. Ministry is at the central level. At the state level, it is called the Department of Health and Family Welfare, and the State Health Secretary runs it. At the district level, the people in charge of healthcare are the district collector and the district medical officer. Below that, in another lecture, you will see the healthcare delivery of India and who, what are the staff and in charges at community health center, PHC, sub center, 
Finally, at village level, we have ASHA, which is carried out integrated activities of healthcare and family welfare. And finally, the people for whom the entire program is there. At the highest level, national and state levels, we have tertiary hospitals and medical colleges, at district level, district hospitals, and sub district and taluk hospitals. It is so we can see it is at the level of ASHA that all the activities are being integrated and delivered. Contraceptives are being delivered at home by ASHA for small remuneration. So everything is integrated at the sub at the root grassroot level. Ultimately, we have all the program have been integrated under National Health Mission. National Rural Health Mission was launched in 2005. Then came the National Urban Health Plan. And these were integrated again into National Health Mission. So all the programs including the RCH and Family Welfare Program are now a part of National Health Mission and Umbrella Program. In 2015, RMNCH plus A strategy was launched. A means adolescence, so all, to form a continuum of healthcare at all the stages of life. India Newborn Action Plan came in uh, 2014 because we want to attain a single digit neonatal mortality rate by 2030. In 2017, a new national health policy was launched, which will be covered in another lecture.